300 to 800 milligrams. A variant of 63. 6. What a 5. 0. 6. substrate surface. The method is it's at least a metal oxide precursor. A coating step forming a photosensitive resin. That's going to be 3.4. The variant of The substrate is going to be 70 in order to sufficiently, sufficiently volatilize, volatilize volatile components, which is a pump contained therein. A pre baking treatment be performed with a temperature range of 60 degrees Celsius to 120. We're going to enter this into a table. 60. some references that we're going to include in a reference table. 659119 with 400 nanometers. 400. Let me 
be used in combination with photosensitive resin compositions. The chemically amplified photosensitive resin composition used in the present invention includes a resin composition in a light irradiated region. Due to the action of a photoacid generator that generates acid by light irradiation. We're going to come down to some other references that we're going to include in the table. We have A59101651C1. Page 263450. That is D. The identifier is D for that. 11095421. A for that. Any of the above may be used as the negative photosensitive resin composition. It is preferable that at least a photoacid generator, an acid cross linking agent, and a binder are contained as basic components. If you have the references, we can go ahead and start to compile them into a chart. And I'm going to use some different rows for that. And then we're going to add these figures here to 004232305. different formula identifiers R1 and R2. They are halomethyl groups. R is an alkyl group having 1 to 4 carbon atoms or an alkoxy group having 1 to 4 carbon atoms respectively. It's an integer of G 0 to 3. The formula R1 and R2 are halomethyl groups. R is an alkyl group having 1 to 4 carbon atoms independently and N is an integer of 0 one. We are going to do the calculations for the mass. Among the halomethylated oxidizal compounds represented by the general formula, be identified as number 27. Following general compounds are preferable. It's represented by the formula you will find identified in number 46. The formula R3 is a halomethyl group. R is an alcohol group having 1 to 4 carbon atoms or an alkoxy group having trichloromethyl group. R is an alkyl group or an alkoxy group having one to two carbon atoms independently, and N is going to be an integer of zero to one. The amount of the photoacid generator added is 0 0.5 to 15 percent by mass, preferably five to 15 percent by mass based on the solid content in the photosensitive resin composition layer. If the content of the photoacid generator exceeds 15% by mass, the pattern swells. If it's less than 0.05% by mass, a sufficient amount of acid is not generated by exposure.
we have some specific figures here that we're going to need to put into a separate table. And we're going to do some calculations. We have 300. 301. So 235 and 80.2. All right, that's one column. The next column will include 238. Zero two eleven fifty six and finally eleven fifty eight. That's going to conclude one column. The next column simply contains. These are examples of compounds in which formaldehyde is allowed to act on glycolyuryl or alkyl mo modified products thereof. We have other examples of compounds in which formaldehyde is allowed to act on urea or alkyl modified products, included UFR 65. This is a new column 65 for UFR. Example. Epoxy compounds will be included in this column. We're going to have 701, for you to consider for the next column in your spreadsheet. We have examples of this compound that include PA3000, PA3000A, RP2978, SP1974, 
SP1975 SP1976 SP1977 RP RP3973 and I would like to, for you to consider creating a separate column to include references to those items. If you give me a moment I need to read over this before we continue. We do need a separate entry for these items. Let me number these. Methacrylic acid will be number one. Benzyl methacrylate copolymer will be number two. Methacrylic acid with methyl methacrylate will be three. Number four will be benzyl methacrylate copolymer. Those are going to be four separate entries going to need references for those. On the other hand, is the positive photosynthesis? These acrylic polymers preferably have a mass average molecular weight of 2,000 to 500,000. Preferably, we have a preferable range of 4,000 to 300,000. This is a new addition to the range. In this present um, iteration, the content of the binders is about 10% to 90% by mass. That is going to be in section B, subsection 2. We have some more subsets. We have 142, 172. Then again, we're going to have in the next row 173. Beneath that, I want to add a new addition that's going to be 173.8. We move then to 183.
that's going to conclude that column. I want that to come after column B in the second tab. We have some serial numbers here that I want you to add. FC 430, FC 431, SC 112, SC 113, S313, S414, and S541. For that column, the next one is going to be SH82, SH910, SH391. This is also part of that column. We need SZ306, SF248, DC571, and DC910. Those are all the same manufacturer, which is why I want them included in the same column. You don't have to mention that they're the same manufacturer. Just wanted to clarify that. The amount of the surfactant used is 0.05% to 10% by mass the total solid content. It is not effective when it is 0.05% by mass or less. And the adhesion to the resistant pattern deteriorates when it exceeds 10% by mass. So the real range is 0.05 to 10. It is preferably in the range of 0.08% to 5% by mass, and particularly preferable in the range of 0.1 to 3% by mass. That's where we want to keep it in that range, 0.1 to 3%. Thickness of the photosensitive resin layer is preferably in the range of 1.0 to 10 microns. Further, a colorant can be added to the photosensitive resin composition as needed. As the colorant, pigments such as barium sulfate, titanium oxide, red iron oxide, carbon black, and thalocyanide and dyes such as crystal violet and malachite green can be used. The post-exposure bake treatment is important. That is going to be a separate page of the spreadsheet. So we need a separate sheet for the post-exposure bake treatment. It can be performed after the exposure treatment and it differs depending on the constituent components of the negative type photosensitive resin composition or positive type photosensitive resin composition but it is baked. The treatment temperature is preferably going to be in the range of 90 degrees Celsius to 150 degrees Celsius. When you add in the variant, going to 
to add that on the separate row. 90 to 150 degrees Celsius. More preferably in the range of 90 degrees to 120 degrees Celsius. The baking treatment time will be a separate column. It is preferably in the range of 15 seconds to 2 minutes, but more preferably going to keep it in the range of 30 seconds to 2 minutes. By carrying out such a baking treatment, the acid generated in the vicinity of the photo mask side of the light irradiated area is dispersed and permeated to the bottom to promote polymerization and ensure, ensure insolubilization in the developing solution. You're also going to have a section on developing solution and developing treatment. The developing solution used in the developing treatment is not particularly limited as long as it can dissolve and remove the unexposed portion of the photosensitive resin layer after the baking treatment. It is desirable that it consists of a developing solution containing an alkaline component, here and after abbreviated as alkaline developing solution. In the development process, using this alkaline developer, it is preferable to develop at 26 to 40 degrees Celsius. Using a weak alkaline developer having a pH of 9 added to a solution to which a small amount of an organic solvent miscible with water is added may also be used. Getting down into the time of firing in the next, the next section. The concentration of the organic solvent miscible with water is generally 0.1% by mass to 30% by mass. quick calculations that we can add to this chart.
when the temperature is 300 degrees Celsius or lower, organic substances may not be sufficiently removed or the metal oxide precursor made of a material other than the metal oxide may be sufficiently changed to the metal oxide by decomposition or oxidation. It may not be possible if the temperature is 800 degrees Celsius or higher the metal oxide precursors may be aggregated or bound too much to lose the pore structure, or the substrate may be deteriorated or deformed by heat. That is 800 degrees Celsius or higher. We then move to the next section, which is going to contain figure one. Figure one is a schematic cross-sectional view showing an example of a method for producing a metal oxide structure of the present invention. It shows a case where a negative pattern is formed by proximity exposure using a photo mask. Also included on this page is going to be figure 1a. Figure 1a is a schematic cross-sectional view for explaining the exposure process. Going to the next page, you're going to find figure 1b. Figure 1b is a schematic cross-sectional view for explaining that a pattern is formed after the development process. And then finally, also on page 2, we have figure 1c. Figure 1c is a schematic cross-sectional view. It explains that the metal oxide structure composed of the metal oxide porous body was formed after the firing step. That is going to be 1c. Figure 1a, a photosensitive resin composition layer, which is going to be identified as 20, is formed on the substrate, which is identified as 1. The photosensitive resin composition layer is formed by dispersing and containing a particular a particulate metal oxide precursor, identified as 22, and a binder, identified as 24, and an acid cross-linking agent containing a photoacid generator. Further, the photo mask is installed on the photosensitive resin composition layer so as to be close to the photosensitive resin composition layer, the surface on which the black mask is formed facing down. The photo mask is a glass that transmits light for exposure, represented by an arrow emitted from a parallel light source that is incident perpendicular to the thickness direction of the substrate. In the film thickness direction of the photosensitive resin layer. It is composed of a substrate and a black mask that completely shields the light for exposure. The black mask is formed on the surface of the glass substrate according to a desired pattern. As shown in figure 1a, the exposure process is performed by irradiating the photosensitive resin layer with the light for exposure via the photo mask. That is going to be your drawing summary for figure 1, 1a, 1b, and 1c, which will be contained in two pages.
At this point, we can look at some of the specifics. short. A method for producing a metal oxide structure in which at least a metal oxide porous body is arranged on the surface of a substrate, wherein the production method contains at least a metal oxide precursor and a photosensitive resin composition of a chemical amplification system applied to the surface of the substrate to form a photosensitive resin composition layer. Patterning step of forming a pattern of the photosensitive resin composition layer and firing of the patterned photosensitive resin composition layer. That is number one. which is subject to change. Number two and three also. If we go down to number three, let's do two. The method for producing a metal oxide structure. According to claim one, wherein the metal oxide precursor contains any one or more of titanium oxide sol, silica sol, and amino alumina sol. Number three, the method for producing a metal oxide structure according to claim one or two, wherein the photosensitive resin composition of the chemical amplification system contains at least a photoacid generator, an acid cross-linking agent, and a binder. We have to look at our figures for that. 4. The method for producing a metal oxide structure according to any one of claims 1, 2, 3, wherein the firing temperature, the time of firing, is in the range of 300 degrees Celsius to 800 degrees Celsius. We won't limit it any further at this point, except in the specification. We're going to keep it broad in the claims. 300 degrees Celsius to 800 degrees Celsius. questions about the columns. Which page is that? Okay, I see that. If you look at, look on that second row, 6.1, 8.2.
you need to have third. Let me check. I just want to verify. You need to add 13.3. You can add that as a separate row. We will work it out later. And 5.2. questions for this particular spreadsheet. Okay, great. Thank you so much for stopping by. I look forward to seeing the finished product.